Talk to me about your expectations um, once I was traded to New Orleans and your understanding of what I was like, what you thought about me, right? What is CJ like before he gets here? And then what is CJ like once you actually get to know him? Because people have this idea of what I'm like, right? And then they get to be my teammate or they get to really know me and they're like, you're not what I thought you was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, before you got, like I, I actually, before you got there, I, I um, like I was just watching a lot of film on what you did. I was, cause I'm, I'm the type of person. I'm like, okay, we're gonna bring him to the family. I want him to fit in. I want him to fit in right away, and I want him to be comfortable. So, like that's 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 all that I was kind of thinking about in my head. I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking about your personality or anything. I I know Griff um, had told me that you was a good guy. A lot of people said that, but you really never know until the person gets there. But when you came in, like. Like, I'm honest, like, you fit right in. You fit it right in. Like, nobody, like, it's players that come to the team that's, like, cancers of the group, and they think they're better than everybody else. And especially with, with who you are, with who you are, you can score the basketball at any time you want. You can do things on the floor that everybody else can. But you came in with, like, you wanted to grasp everybody and, like, come on, this 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 is what we're doing. And... We respected it more than anything. Like, you know, me, Najee, Jose, we look for somebody to be like just the eyeballs out the group, so we can be like, "Yo, th this what we doing." But right. you, you can't. You came in and you was like, "This is me," and like it, it fit. It fit our mode of who we were, who we are, and like it. It was fast. It, I wasn't expecting after three or four games for us to just just get it. Like it, we just it just it just happened. And it, that's all. That's all it took. It took three or four games for it to just happen. We had three or four games where where I was a little off because it was something new. But after that, we had our conversation at dinner, and then after that, it was like, okay, this is what you like to do. This is what I like to do. This is how I like to play. And from there, it was like, okay, we got it. So that was that was the most like most impressive thing for, for me. No, it's good to hear that because I had never been in a situation like that before, right? Like I was used to – I played a certain type of way. I played for a certain type of organization. So when I got traded, I thought to myself, what would I like if somebody came, you know, to our team midseason? I was like, how would I want to – how would I want to be coached? How would I want to lead? And I was very strategic about, like, my thought process. It was like, look, I have a I have a very outgoing personality. I can yell at people at times. Like, I can rub people the wrong way. So I was like, let me just watch and observe to kind of start. Like, I'll speak when I need to. I'll point things out. But I wanted you guys to understand that. Like, look, I'm just trying to win. Coach me. Teach me. Like, I'm not going to know some of y'all plays. I'm not going to be in the right spots at times. But, like, don't be afraid, like, 1 through 15. Even if you don't play minutes, like, you need to be telling me, CJ, nah, I do like this. I seen this. You missed – Trey was right here. He was open. Jose was one more. Like, you got to see that. Like, I need that for me to you know, tap into, like, that next level of what I think is, you know, whatever my ceiling looks like. I want to hit whatever whatever I'm supposed to maximize as an offensive player, as a defensive player, as a basketball player. I want to be able to tap into that. And I felt like this was the spot where I, I would be challenged in different ways I hadn't been challenged before, and it would make me uncomfortable. And I wanted to be put in an uncomfortable situation because I think that's when – you know, success is prevalent. Like, you can really get challenged. Back against the wall, you fold, you crumble, or you rise to the occasion. And it was a good challenge for us, and I'm glad we was able to have those conversations. And I think it was important. Like I said before, when we sat down at dinner, I was like, look, you got to be you. You got to go to work. You got to be the killer. You got to be the guy like you. You want to be the best player in the NBA? Go do that, and I'm going to help you do that. And when, when things aren't going well, we still got to have each other's back. And I think we're at that point now because we've been through the fire. We've been through tough losses and tough wins. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.